Hi everyone, so this is a from 2023 pack. It's a slight change to the previous one. So I need to re-record a couple of videos. Something from the start of the first lesson and something from the start of the third lesson. So let's have a look at it. <clears throat> so it says, the gradient of the curve is constantly changing. So it's not a straight line, it's a curve. So I need to be able to find the gradient of the curve anywhere. And we can either use it, we use it, find it by being by creating tangents or doing it algebraically. So what you can do is draw a point, draw a tangent, get two points which are close to each other and work out the gradient. But well, that might not be 100% accurate, so we have a kind of a better way for doing it in a minute. So this says, by drawing a tangent, estimate the gradient of x is 1. So there's my... There's my as my dodgy tangent there. Uh, if I'd done it right, I'd be able to there work out that gradient there. So n is just two. The gradient is two. We're going to like to say this is tedious. You've got to be able to draw it. <laughs> it's helpful if you can draw a straight line. So, so we have this other way, which is differentiation, which is quite nice now. Um, what we do is put the power at the front and take one off the power. So this is if you look at this example here, it says y equals kx to the n. So what I want to do is put the power down and say one off the power. k is just a number, so I can do kn times it together, then it's x to the power n minus 1. There's different notations for it. Oops, get rid of that now, the line. There's different notations for it. We could have y, which goes to dy by dx, or you could have f of x, which goes to f dash of x. It's not 1 or anything like that, it's a dash. So my f dash of x is k and x to the n minus 1. Now if I have a just like a, like 3x or something like that, that's 3x to the power 1. So if I differentiate it, I bring the power down and then take 1 off the power. But x to the power 0 is just 1. So all I've got is 3. So in general terms, if I start off with kx, all I get is k, which graphically works as well. Because if I had an equation which was 3x, I know the gradient is 3. So it works. So this one says y equals k. So think about this one then. So this would be y, say it was y equals 3, it would be times by x to the power 0. But then if I differentiate it, I would have 3 times 0 times whatever it is. But for anything times 0 is 0. And graphically, it's the same idea. So if I had y equals 3, you know that the gradient is zero. So it all matches. So that's a general thing. Put the power at the front, take one off the power. So let's have a look then. So let's take the put the power at the front. And take one off the power. And there's one there for you to have a go at. So put the power at the front and take one off the power. So that was two times seven, wasn't it? times by x to the 6. So let's look at this next one now. So I'm going to put power at the front. Is that a power 3 over 2? I can't really tell on my right. Okay, so it's 2. So 2 is just a number at the front. Then it's, I'm going to put the power down and take it off the power. If I tidy it up, then the 2 times 3 over 2 is just 3. The x to the half. And there's one there, and this next one for you to have a go at. 
So same idea, that would be 4 times by 5 over 2, which would give you the time. So look, so I'm doing whole numbers, I've done fractions, so now I'm doing negatives now, and I'm changing my notation to f dash to that two of the differentiator. So it's three, bring the power down, minus four, take one off the power, it's minus five. So that would be minus 12x to the minus five. So let's have a look at this one. So we're gonna, there. So we'd have, Bring the power down and then multiply it, gives you minus 10. Now, this one we can just do each term separately. Oops, can't spell, well, I can't spell, just pen sticky. So, we do each term. So, I've got f dashed at x. So, x cubed becomes 3x squared. Minus 2x squared becomes minus 2 times 2x, that's minus 4x. 3x becomes a plus 3. The minus 2 disappears. Try it with this one. So we should have a 15x to the 4, a minus 12x squared, plus 6, and the 1 disappears. So I hope these are okay. I'm testing it in class. Right, so let's have a look at this next bit. So we've got a dy by dx. So I'll bring the power to the front. That's a 5 over 2, isn't it? Take one off the power is a 3 over 2. Bring the power to the front is a minus 2. Take one off the power is a minus 3. So that would give us 5 over 2, x to the power 3 over 2, minus 6x to the minus 3. So let's try this one. So you'd have 4 times a half, which is going to be 2, x to the minus a half, be careful. And then a minus 5 times minus 3 is a plus 15, x to the minus 4. Now I've got, I'm on 7 minutes 20 now, and I've got a load more examples to do. So I'm quite tempted to stop the vid. Uh, and... No, do you know what? Let's keep going. Right. So I'm going to put it in index notation, so it says it there. So this would become x to the power minus 1. So when I differentiate it, it becomes minus 1 x to the minus 2. Let's have a look at this one. So f of x, so that becomes x to the power a half plus 2. So when I differentiate it, it's a half, bring the power to the front, take one off the power, the two disappears. So look at this next one. So that would be, now you bring up the x, so that would be 2x to the minus 4. Is that the cube root? Uh, yes, it is. So that would be minus x to the power a third. So you do your index first. Then you differentiate it. Sometimes people do the index and think they differentiated it. So I'll be bring the power to the front, so 2 times minus 4 is minus 8. Take one off the power is minus 3. Bring the power to the front, take one off the power is minus 2 thirds. So be careful with that, people put minus a third. So there's some for you here, I've got one minute left on this. So you do 5x to the minus 1, so it becomes minus 5x to the minus 2. Pion. We do x to the half minus 4x, so it becomes a half x to the minus a half minus 4. You can see they put them in um, proper notation as well. But we've got oops, 3x to the minus 2 plus x to the fifth, which becomes minus 6x to the minus plus a fifth x to the minus four fifths. There you go. That takes you to the bottom of that page, and that's probably quite a nice place to stop. Yes, oh, also, I'm telling you, just one little thing with 15 seconds left or so. These are called the gradient function. It's the equation which maps out the gradient along the curve. Right, we'll stop there with three seconds.